Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud Conversations Quick Tips. My name is Peter Rising and I'm here today to share with you a very short tip related to Microsoft 365. And in this case, it's going to be Microsoft Purview compliance related and part of records management. Now records management is a feature within the Purview Compliance Center that you can use to create file plans and retention labels. Now retention labels are also available in data lifecycle management as well. And as we can see here from the Compliance Center that we're logged into, we have data lifecycle management up here, records management a little bit further down, and we're logged into uh, records management just now. Okay, but the little tip that I want to share with you is something uh, that relates to um, displaying the option in your retention label to mark your content as a regulatory record. Now, this is something that um, some organizations may have the need to, to do, um, but by default, that option is not available. So you have to connect to the Office 365 Security and Compliance PowerShell and enable that process. So let's take a look at what that looks like before and after. At the moment, if we go ahead and in our records management file plan section, if we want to go ahead and create a retention label to uh, retain and then delete content, whatever we want that label to do, we go in and we can put our label name in, retain for seven years is always a popular one. And delete, uh, always put a good description in. Uh, but we'll skip that just for the purposes of demo. Um, file plan descriptors for the label, you can configure here, uh, not what we're here to talk about today. We'll uh, have another uh, quick tip on, on that upcoming, uh, what file plan descriptors are all about. What do we want our label settings to do? Uh, we've got some choices here, retain items forever or for a specific, specific period enforce actions after a specific period or just label items. We'll go for the, for the top one to retain items for a specific period of time, uh, define the retention period. And then when we get to the next screen, this is where we've got the option to uh, choose what happens during the retention period. And here we've got this choice here to mark items as a record. What that means is users won't be able to edit or delete items. Only admins will be able to change or remove the label. For SharePoint and OneDrive files, actions are blocked or allowed based on whether the item's record status is locked or unlocked. Uh, an example, you can do very little um, with a, something marked as a record. You Within SharePoint, as an example, you can uh, move or copy uh, that content between folders, but very little else you can do with that. There's a preview feature in here as well to unlock uh, the record by default. Uh, choose this option if you want to allow users to edit items before locking the record. So, but we've got a, a selection missing here. So how do we get that mark items as a regulatory, uh, easy for me to say, record? Well, let's just halt here a moment and see what we need to do. We actually need to, we'll cancel the creation of that label and we'll come back to that. We need to uh, connect to uh, the security and compliance PowerShell and run a command which will enable that feature for us. Now I've got PowerShell all ready to go here. I have got um, my commands here that we, we need to run. We need to import the module for Exchange Online Management because it's the Exchange um, PowerShell that we uh, essentially will be connecting to. So we'll import that very, very quickly there. And then we need to connect our IPPS session with our user principal name of our admin user and connect to the shell. So let's go do that, paste that in. And we should get prompted here for our credentials, which I will enter. And here we go, connecting, connecting, and connecting some more. Gotta have a little bit of patience at this point, but there we are back at the prompt. So what do we have to do next? We need to pull this command from here, which is set hyphen regulatory compliance UI uh, dash enabled 
dollar true. So let's just copy that, pop that into our shell and hit the button. And it's as simple as that, as simple as that. How long that takes to do, let's go back to our records management and take a look. Let's just, for good measure, give it a little refresh. And let's go ahead and create a label again. So uh, let's try that again. Return for seven years and then delete. Go for next, go through the process. Retain, retain, and bingo! There we have it. It is instant. We now have this extra option here uh, to mark the content labeled as a regulatory record. Uh, if we select that, it's going to give us a very, very visual warning here that content labeled as a regulatory record is immutable. You won't be able to delete this label after it's created. You'll only be able to increase the retention period or publish it to other locations. Also, after the label is applied to items, users or admins won't be able to remove the label or delete the items until the retention period is over. Are you sure you want to classify this label as a regulatory record? Yes, I'm sure. If you're comfortable with that, go ahead. I'll just cancel that for now. But uh, there you go. That is the process. So what is the description here that it has as well? It just, uh, yeah, users won't be able to edit or delete items or, or change or remove the layout. Just giving you the giving you that same uh, that same spiel there. So well, let's actually do it. Let's actually uh, go through. Um, and then what happens after the retention period? Uh, lots of things we can do with the retention label in records management. Uh, we can delete the aut items automatically, start a disposition review, we can change the label, deactivate the retention settings. Disposition review is a good one. We might have a little quick tip on that one at some point. So let's have a look and see what we have got. We can review and finish creating our label. And boom, that is it. Creating, creating, creating. Uh, we can choose to publish that to our Microsoft 365 locations or to apply the label to a specific type of content, or we can do nothing. We'll do that for now. This is a demo tenant, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, we'll do nothing. And we've got our lovely new label created there. So that's it. That's how you declare records um, as a regulatory record, and that's easier uh, not as easy to say as you would think. Okay, that is the Cloud Conversations quick tip for today. We'll see you back on Cloud Conversations again very soon. You take care. Bye-bye.